Hey everybody, it's Dimitri. Um, <clears throat> so, there's a famous personal development guy, I'm not going to say who he is, and he said, you should always kick a man when he's down, he'll get up faster. And, you know, it may be true if you kick someone or yourself when you're down, you may get up faster. But what that doesn't speak to is what sort of a person gets up. When you bully yourself, and we'll talk about you here, right? When you bully yourself into getting up and ignoring your feelings and forcing your way through anyway, what kind of a person uh, do you turn into who's doing that? So I think this is pretty important because we're all really told that when you're down and when you're not doing well or when you feel stuck, what you really need is a good kick in the ass. Now, Sometimes that's true, a kick in the ass will help, uh, but most of the time it really isn't what you need. And you know, there's so much of this going around. Uh, I saw an article online saying why you need to work five times faster. And I had a coach who uh, said that uh, they'd taken on the idea that if, if you're working as hard as you possibly can, you need to consider that you're really only at 40% of what you're capable of. Right, this sort of push, 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 go, go, go. This idea that your emotional experience of what you're, of, of what you're doing doesn't really matter. Kind of with the sense that, because once you succeed, then you'll be happy, right? And that, we all know enough successful people who are miserable and make other people miserable that we know that doesn't really work. So, um, I'm going to present a different way. And here's what I'd like you to do. Think about a part of yourself that is down, a part of yourself that is discouraged, a part of yourself that even seems to get in the way of getting done what you want to get done. And maybe notice how, yeah, you know what, sometimes you do feel like kicking that part. It can be annoying. But what I'm going to suggest here is that instead of kicking that part, bring some love to that part. So almost like imagine, you know, very often the kind of language and healing word we'll use for this will be like, how old might you have been when you first felt that kind of discouragement? Now it might be a very small part of you. And just allow yourself to reach out to that part and bring some love. The part of you that says, I'll never be able to do it, or I can't do it, or I try and I try and I keep failing, or there's this thing I want to make different in my life. I want to have a relationship, or I want to lose weight, or I want to do X, Y, Z, and I can never seem to do it, right? And I'm never going to be able to do it. Right? That's the discouraged part of you. So let yourself bring some love to the discouraged part of you that says, I'm never going to be able to do it. And I want to be a little specific about how to do that, the love you want to bring is the love that says, wow, you're doing the best you can and you're still finding yourself believing that it doesn't matter what you do, you can never get what your heart truly longs for. And I see you're having a hard time. I see that discourages you. I see that believing that breaks you, but you don't feel like you have another option. And I love you even exactly the way you are, right? You're not trying to bring advice. You're not trying to bring, like, buck up, you can do it. You're, not, you're certainly not trying to kick yourself while you're down. It's, I see that the best you can do right now is believing that this broken, incomplete life is all you're going to be able to have. And I have compassion for you. Because when you bring compassion, when true compassionate love touches the parts of us that are discouraged, whole new, that's when the world changes. That's when we start to see the world with different eyes. That's when we start to see that, wow, there is a way forward. Or even if I don't know what it is, I feel like it might be there. Right? The light that comes off of our discouraged parts when we bring love to them is really what takes us to the next level of what's possible for us in our lives. So uh, just practice that for a minute. You might want to practice that for a minute a couple times a day. Now, if, if, if you're a guy and you're interested in finding out more about sort of a deep mercy for yourself that can empower you to move forward, as of this writing, there are two spots left in the upcoming Inner King training. And you can find out more about that at innerking.com. It's happening at the end of the month, almost full, uh, but there still is a space for you if you want it. If you really want to know how deep love and deep blessing like this can transform your life without having to kick yourself when you're down, without having to work five times harder, without having to say, oh, I'm exhausted, but I'm only at 40%, I gotta work more and more and more, but really to have joy and freedom, inspiration, 
uh, and, uh, and flow just come out of you and find yourself automatically creating the life that you want. So I hope everybody who's watching this will have that kind of an experience and I'll talk to you soon.